His mother was a God-fearing woman. His birth was an unspeakable horror. Please don't let him do that! His life and death have been one incredible nightmare. <laughs> but now all that is going to change because Freddy wants to become a daddy. One of his babies. What's wrong with me? You're just a little pregnant. Even if he has to adopt. No! Do unborn babies dream? When it comes to chills. It happened while I was awake. When it comes to screams. The party just start. When it comes to pure terror. Bone appetit. <laughs> no one delivers like Freddy. Better buckle up. All right, Kruger. This time it's for capes. A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. It's a boy! When it comes to terror, remember, Freddy knows best. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another horror franchise reviews, and, you know, since I haven't really had any videos up, I figured I'd get some videos up and get over with, so I'm reviewing The Dream Child. My number on Elm Street Part 5, The Dream Child, has so many problems. It is literally the worst number on Elm Street sequel in the franchise. I watched it, I was just, just really, I wasn't, they didn't really care for this. I just fucking hated it like everyone else did. I really, they didn't really pay attention. It was just laughable at parts. The Freddy Krueger as an alien was a, just a, as a baby. He looked like a fucking alien. Freddy Krueger literally looked like E.T. or some kind of fucking weird creature. It was just a literal stupid fucking joke. Um, there's a lot of goofy shit in this movie. There's a lot of things that are messed up, like stuff with Amanda Krueger, uh, the death scenes, which really weren't that interesting to me. I mean, yeah, there was the, the, the bike riding scene with Dan and the swimming pool scene with that one girl who entered the dream with, with, uh, with um, Alice. Uh, there's a comic book death, I mean, there's just, I really didn't, they didn't really intrigue me, it was just cliche, it was just, I had so many issues with this, with this, with, with this sequel. The comic book scene where the, where the guy has, is the comic book hero, the phantom, whatever you call him, that was laughable, the baby Freddy was laughable, everything was just messed up. See, to me, what will work with this one is if, he, with Amanda Kruger and, and everything, that could have been mentioned either in Dream Warriors, or I think the original. If they mentioned that stuff in the original, it would be, if they mentioned a little bit of it, and then it started off with Nancy and all of them in the original, it would be way better. Or they could have done this, they could have got rid of the Dream Child bullshit with Alice being pregnant, and they could have done a prequel to the original of how Freddy killed those nightmare, those kids of Elm Street before Nancy and, you know, Glenn and all of them. That would be pretty good, and they could get rid of six, and they could make a new nightmare. But then with new nightmare, they have to get rid of the cast in the previous film, since that'll be a new cast with a new story. And I think with Freddy vs. Jason, they could have just made a Elm Street based one. But I haven't seen Freddy vs. Jason, but I have high hopes for that one. You know, it's it's a, it's a fucking sl slang movie of two su of two horror villains slashing slashing the fuck at each other. But anyway, Nightmare on Elm Street Five: Alice pregnant, and Freddy's getting her baby to do everything. It's just oh, it's the only the only thing that that benefits this film is Alice. You know, reprises her role. She does a great job as always. Robert Ra England, stale, cheesy. Let's rock and roll, and his corny lines just a fucking joke. Bon appetit, bitch. That was just nothing really special. I mean, it's just a downhill, you know, beat movie in the series. If they have if they had redone this film, it would have been better. I. It's really, I mean, a lot of you have seen it, you know, uh, you know, uh, Alice is, you know, pregnant, graduating high school with her boyfriend, they plan to do something together, he dies, and basically our friends get terrorized, and, you know, you know, you know the whole gist of it. You know, I, I really don't understand, they, they, you know, Dream Master made such a success, if they, if they had made this film in a different approach, I think it would make more money, but it doesn't matter. Just put the fucking Elm Street, just put the number Elm Street, you know, label on it, the name of the franchise, and put a number five on it and make up a fucking other 
one. It's just so messed up, like the baby stuff and that Amanda Kruger stuff. That could have been explained in a, in in way before this one. It, t it t why why would you explain this shit in part five? I don't fucking understand that shit. But that's just that's just me. I mean, it's the comic book stuff was corny. The you know the motorcycle, you know the swimming pool scene. Oh God, the, you know the you know they they when the girl you know eats Freddy eats her to death. The you know and also Jacob, fucking Jacob. What the fuck? You, you just. Her kid? Really? I mean, well, of course, dream child, dumbass, but really, you had to, Alice had to have a fucking kid, Jacob, and then he battles Freddy, and he has the skin of Freddy, and there's then the scene where Alice turns to Freddy, what the fuck? It's just so stupid, they ran out of ideas, this, this series literally went down to fucking shit after part 4, part 4 was good at times, but it had its problems, but this one, this one has, it has fucking problems up the fucking ass, this movie fucking sucks, it fucking sucks, I'm gonna finish the franchise because I wanna do it, just for the fuck of it, if, you, if you're gonna review the original, you might as well finish them all, but this one, I really pretty much spoke about everything in this film, that was just, terrible, just just bad, it's just what happened, Robert England's a joke in this one, I mean, they're all pretty, Alice is the only one I really gave a shit about, the death scenes did really interest me, I just mentioned them all again, I'm not going to mention these death scenes again, you all see the fucking fifth installment of the franchise, I just thought it was just, it was the disc, it was just, I don't know, really, a real big letdown, if they've gotten rid of this and they made a, pre a prequel, you know, before, or, or maybe, like, well, a sequel, prequel, whatever, before the events of the first Elm Street film, maybe it would make, you maybe you get to know Freddy a little bit more, that would be interesting, you know, then there wouldn't be a remake, it would just be, you know, Freddy vs. Jason after that, and New Nightmare, of course, but that's just my, you know, thing on it, you know, a lot of people, you know, talked about it, that, no, that would be interesting, you, you could just get rid of, you know, the fucking dream child aspect, and you just go on with, you know, uh, New Nightmare, Freddy vs. Jason, just stick to the, plot pretty much with Jason in the mix of Elm Street. That would have been interesting, but, you know, it's it's just a letdown, you know, if, they, if they'd done this years ago differently, it would have been probably better, not cornier and shittier and stupider if they came up with the original fucking cool idea. I wouldn't mind seeing a background story more of Freddy. That way we wouldn't have a remake or, you know, or anything, or, any, or none of that shit. We would, we would just have this, New Nightmare, Favors Jason, and then that's it. And we would, we would be done with no problem. But no, it's all about money anyway. They don't give a shit about the fans, what they have to say. But that would be interesting. I could go all day about this. Like, we could get the, if we had a part five with the, origin, with the origins of Freddy Krueger, how he became, and Amanda Krueger, you know, the stuff they mentioned in the first one, that would have been interesting if they mentioned, you know, the stuff they mentioned in the original, they add, if they added the background story of Freddy from the original to part 5, I think it would have been interesting. Plus, I don't think the TV show would have to even be there, you know, but they made the TV show, which is supposed to be, I guess, based off of the kids who existed on Elm Street before the actual films, or after, who the fuck knows. But anyway, if they made a film uh, related to the original before Nancy, that would have been fucking great. But, yeah, Nightmare on Street 5, The Dream Child, disappointment, not a fan of it. Don't fucking watch it, don't waste your time. Just watch it for Alice, and watch, and, and just watch your naked in the shower, that's it. All in all, it's just stupid shit with the baby crap and the fucking Amanda Kruger shit. Like I said, it had its own, its own prequel to the original. I think it would work well. But, yeah, guys, Nightmare, but yeah, guys uh, The Dream Child, Nightmare on Street 5, <laughs> thumbs down, piece of shit. So yeah, guys, that's uh, my horror franchise. I'm going to still do more, and then pretty soon, probably our next year, we'll do Friday 13th. So, see you later. You have a good one. Bye.